Hey, welcome everyone. Tom here from Park Avenue Trading, your chief dealer keeping you sane in these insane times. If you like what you see, please smash the like button, subscribe, and share the video far and wide. We want to build a really big trading community. Um, this is uh, going to be the weekly forecast for next week. It is uh, Saturday, October 5th, 2024. So it's going to be for starting on the 7th, which will actually, of course, have the Asia market for us East Coast people starting at like 6, 7 o'clock on Sunday evening, the 7th through Friday the 11th. Um, hopefully you watched the previous week. We had some um, good analysis there. We Last week we said that uh, most likely it the marketplace could track down to 141 the figure didn't get quite there we got to like 141 22 something like that like 141 141 ah, 64 i thought i went a little bit lower than that um so we were kind of close but 64 pips but most people that trade fibonacci if they're 100 points off they can they, they they say it's a victory so maybe I should be as liberal as them and say, hey, that's a victory. But we did have support at 141, the figure. Now we're moving forward. Okay, so where are we right now in Dolly in for the week? All right, so I have to come up with some points for you guys. Um, let me just move this chart over. This is the daily chart. Okay, so right now, uh, market closed at 148, like right around 148.70. There is resistance at this previous close here, the, the high bars close at 149.24. If Dalian continues to rally, all right, there is another level of resistance at 149.80, right here, 149.80. Why won't, why won't it draw? 149.80. Uh, 85 is fine enough. Uh, 149.85, then it's, you know, it's going to be looking during the week to attack. Uh, hang on, let me get a good number. 150.88 is the next level above this. And then the 151.23. So right there is good. 150.83 is fine. All right, so... What do we have to stand above to continue showing strength throughout this week? 147.30 is the level that, for the weekly, it needs to stay above. 147.30. So it's probably 147. So close. Right there. That level right there, it's like a double... Um, support point right now, okay. You got you got a TRN at 147.51, and you got a low level at 147.30. If it breaks 147.30 during this is weekly, okay. You know you, you gotta pay attention to the daily analysis, and the daily analysis basically is going to. Um, give us exactly the points for the day that we have to watch, okay? So the, the, the daily analysis is really important, all right? So if it breaks 147.34, this thing's tracking down to, well, it's pretty amazing because a, a break of 34 is going to find support right at 147, the figure. Uh, and then 146.47. So right around down in here, you know, wait, let me trade, let me uh, switch to the hourly chart so we can get better view. So if we break this 147, say 35 level, it's we have another support level, believe it or not, for the week at 147, the figure, and then 146. Uh, say around 30. If it gets through that, we're right back to the 145.45 and, you know, we have the lower level at, you know, 144 and then 
143 and a half and then 141 the figure is the main main overall support for this thing it's the base it's the foundation um i don't really believe the hype um you know of the of the job report i i really don't um i'm sure that number is going to be revised probably after the u.s election but you know Things are so political right now in the United States, you really can't believe anything that's coming out. You don't know who's putting stuff out. You don't know who's countering it. It's just crazy stuff going on. So right now, I am still thinking that dollar yen, really at the upper levels, could see some decent resistance and push down. Now, I'm not going to stand in front of a freight train. So if the marketplace is breaking up through those levels, I'm going to be looking for market structure to show me where the, the, the support is to carry me further. So this is dollar yen right now. Um, looking forward for the week. Now let's move on over to sterling dollar. All right, sterling dollar actually has coming in a volatility support level right here at 131, 130.40. It's a very important level. Um, if if that does break, we're going back down to 130, the figure again, and then we got that, that 129.95, which was a real solid support. I expected sterling to start carrying up, and it really just has not had any type of enthusiasm behind it. Right now as it stands, um, I know for the day I, I said that it needed to get above uh, 130.190, this level right here to start showing support again. It had resistance right behind it at 132.16. If we could break that, resistance has got the 132.66. These levels are still good because they haven't been broken. They just, this has been in a really tight consolidating phase. Um, and then we got 133.05 behind that. Now, right now as it stands, it's still the same point. Uh, let me see if I can get a tighter level for the for like the week. Maybe we could find like the the delta for the delta point. Now it's always dangerous because this is a weekly analysis video, not a daily analysis video. You know, on my daily analysis, I do give you the pivot points for the day. You know, the up or down pivot point, which if you've been following the daily analysis, they've been spot on. So. Oh, and if you're wondering, the guy back there, that's uh, Saul Goodwin, my cow. I love that guy. He's, uh, one day maybe I'll show you, he's dressed in a full suit. You know, he's really cool. Uh, I call him Saul. Saul Goodman. Saul Goodman. Take off from Breaking Bad. Um, I love that series. But anyway, so let me see if I can get a better number for you. All right, I'm going to go out on a limb, and I'm going to say if we can get above 131.46, we got a good chance of getting over that 130.190 to start the movement up. In complete transparency, I've been waiting for this movement up for two weeks, three weeks. <laughs> it has not materialized. I haven't been foolish enough to just keep buying it, I've just been waiting to sh for the marketplace to whisper in my ear that it wants to carry forward. The, the most important thing we have to take away for the weekly is that that 130.40 is important. And then right behind it, we got 130.20. Like, so those two levels for the week are real important to show what sterling dollar is going to do next. If, if, if it does plow through that, we're going back to like the 128.5 overall. And just pay attention to the daily analysis uh, for those updates. Let's move on over to sterling yen, that mad, mad cross. Now, sterling yen, excuse me, uh, hope you don't, hopefully you don't mind the smoke. Um, sterling yen went a lot further on Friday than I thought it was going to do. I mean, I did say it was bid. I did, say, I did have a good level of... Of support for it, I said, and and it held and went. I mean, it rocketed straight up from that level. So if you had followed that, um, you would have made yourself uh, a good two and a half, three big figures on that move. So that was I give myself a pat on the back for making that trade call. If you haven't seen the video, 
go back and watch Friday's market update. I honestly didn't think it was going above like 193, really. I mean, I thought it was going to stay contained within the range and then consolidate and then make a move on Monday potentially higher. I, I wasn't expecting this. So it it made a pretty much of, a, of an expense, um, exponential move. And we have now recent resistance is going to be... Whew, we got resistance at 197. I got to get a I got to get a tighter one than that. Hang on, let me see if I can find a tighter one. I had to actually go to like a short term point, and I got 197, 195. I'm sorry, 195, 80. So that's going to be for this week, 195. 80. That's good. 195.80 is going to be the the uh, shorter term on the week resistance. If it is 195.80, it needs to stay above like 194. Five, 190. Actually, it needs to stay above for the week. It needs to stay above this 193.70 for the week. All right. Again, I'm saying you gotta. We're going to be an analyzing this. For the day, I'm going to go to short-term analysis for market structure to get better points. But overall, week, it needs to stay above 193.69. If it can plow through 195.80, next level uh, we have in this thing is 196.97. That's opening up the way to the 200 level again. Okay, so th these points are, are very important if you're you know, a cross-trader in sterling yen. You want to pay attention to these. Um, it's all really I got for it. I don't want to be like verbose talk about nothing when, you know, it is what it is. So, let's, you know, what you know, was, was interesting was that I, on Thursday, they sold off dollar yen. And they also sold off sterling. So they, and hence, really put pressure on sterling yen and drove it down. And I thought that that... Um, by that cross doing that, that something and but euro yen didn't do that. So I thought some of the big boys were going to be, you know, playing in the euro dollar. Uh, they were going to get active in the euro dollar, basically bidding the euro dollar up, trying to break it out of its uh, quagmire that it's been in, you know. Um, but it it didn't. I mean, they they basically sold that off too, and uh, so that that idea was short. Uh, lived in my mind, but I'm still going to be paying attention to uh, Euro sterling. I'm going to start to pay attention to that. And I, I think you guys should start to pay attention to that cross as well. So let's get on over to Euro yen. And here we are on Euro yen. Okay, so we have weekly resistance at 163.75 if we could get to one get through 163.75 during a week where do we have the next level of resistance hang on let me let me look at that we have another resistance at 164 30 30 38 that's fine 164 38 if we could get to 164 38 now we're talking that it's going to new highs. I mean, and I have to say, uh, hang on. The target would be like 166.33. 166.33. Now, what does it have to stay above? Well, for the week, it's got to stay above this 160, I would have to say like 162.50 for the week. If it breaks through 162.50, we're, we're going to be tracking down to, um, you know, this 162, the figure, 161.90 again for a new look. And again, you got to follow the dailies because I will be updating the dailies. Make sure also stop paying attention to uh, Euro Sterling. And please, if you like what you see, like and subscribe. Tell me what you think of the weekly analysis. If you want me to add another currency, what's your thoughts on that? I'd be happy to do it. Um, also, 
Remember always, head on over to Park Avenue Trading, get yourself a free ebook, and enjoy the party, but dancing at the door. Cheers.